Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a purple and gold halo eye for you guys. Um, now, a couple weeks ago, I did post this look and you guys loved it. I know you asked for a tutorial. I did not get around to filming that. Um, so I was curious to see if you guys still wanted to see it and I put up a poll on Instagram and surely enough, you guys voted yes. So that is what I'm bringing to you today. So before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those linked down below as well. So if you wanna see how I created this look, <laughs> then just keep watching. Starting off this look, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to use the shade Estate and put this all over my lid to set my primer. On a new fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade Monte Carlo and put this above my crease. I'm also going to put this on the outer corners and inner corner as well. Um, in my original look, I used only this shade. However, for some reason, I felt like going in with Bahamas as well. So I am using both shades to do the same exact thing. Going in with a new brush, I'm going to take the shade Can, which is that purple color, and I'm going to put this on the outer corner and inner corner of the lid. Now I did go ahead and cut my crease. I cut it straight down the middle. I did go above my crease just a little bit because I have hooded eyes so I do have to bring it higher. I'm going to take the purple shade again and put that on the outer edges of the concealer to soften the edges. Now going in with a flat shader brush, I'm going to take the shade Inheritance and put this over our concealer in the center of the lid. 
For the lower lash line, I'm going to use my fluffy brush and put the shade Monte Carlo. Now I'm going to take another brush and go in with the shade Cans and put that on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to take some Too Faced glitter glue and I'm going to put this on the center of the lower lash line and kind of line it up with our cut crease. Now I'm just going to take some e.l.f. gold glitter and I'm going to put this over the glitter glue. You do not have to use glitter, you can use the shade Inheritance as well. I just wanted a little something sparkly. Now, baby, I'm 
Alright guys, so that is it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the way that this turned out. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.